Hi sir, good afternoon sir. Yeah, good afternoon. May I know your good name? Sir, Kant. Yeah, Sri Kant. Uh, can I have a resume? Yeah, uh, Sri Kant. So, quickly introduce yourself, like uh, your education details and uh, what is about your technical skills design. Okay. Uh, good afternoon sir. Uh, my sir, Sai Sri Kant. I am from Raul Palam, East Coast District, Andhra Pradesh. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, complete, I have uh, recently graduated from uh, be uh, with stream of first computer science in uh, Satipama College, Chennai. And I have done a major project on uh, crop building predictions using machine learning algorithms. Okay. And I have completed my 12th and SSC in uh, the Tirumala Educational Institute's Yeah. Okay. Uh, my strengths are I'm a good listener and fast learner, and I've created uh, situational thinking. Okay. And coming to my weakness, I think power guidance is my weakness. I am from a nuclear family. Uh, my father is working as an artist conductor yeah. and mother is a housekeeper. Okay. And brother is working as a software developer. That's all about that. Yeah, uh, that's a good introduction. So you are a good at which programming language? Uh, good at Python. That's good. Yeah, okay. So can I go with the basics of Python question? Is it okay for us? Okay. Yeah, okay. So first of all, Sita, what is Python? Uh, Python is a uh, scripting language. It is a scripting language, it supports Hoops concepts and it was a graphical user interface and has internet applications. It was developed by Guyo and Rusum in late 1980s and it was used in uh, real time examples like uh, Instagram, uh, uh, Instagram, uh, Netflix, Quora. Yeah, okay, so fine. And so uh, okay, so inside that you are listening some statements like looping statements, condition like that. Okay, so can you give the brief definition about looping statements like uh, for loop and while loop? Uh, for loop and while loop are like control structures and used in Python. Uh, for loop is uh, used in uh, if you know the uh, for example uh, for in range, it's like a sequence. Uh, we use for the for statements in a. Uh, Sequence order. It will uh, iterate through. It will iterate in sequential order. And while loop is used when uh, uh, it, it should it should iterate the uh, statements until the condi given condition is false. And uh, for loop is uh, is used when you know the uh, number of iterations. And while loop is used when we don't know, we don't know the number of iterations. And it will iterate until the given condition. Uh, should be false. Yes. So simply can you look coming to the looping statement, a statement which executes multiple times depends on the condition. Conditions. Okay. So while loop we are using for when we don't know number of iterations. For loop we are using majorly when we we know number of iterations. Yeah, fine. And so we have uh, some data types in Python. Okay, so what is the difference between tuple and list? We are coming to tuple, it is immutable. Okay. Uh, it, was, it was fast uh, okay. compared to list, and list is uh, uh, immutable. We can change or uh, update or anything as uh, list, but we can't change uh, tuple okay. because it, will, it was used for only read or reading only operations. And we can, in coming to list, we can update, change, or add or delete. In okay. Tuple. So, fine. And what is functions in Python? Functions is, uh, functions is a structural uh, structural of programs codes uh, to like uh, we use functions to uh, reduce the co reduce the code usability and we can uh, call we can call the functions number of times and okay can yeah. what are the types uh, types of functions we have built-in functions and user defined functions okay any one example of inbuilt function functions like print step, print or uh, define. Okay. Yeah, uh, fine. So, uh, have you ever the recursion function? Yes. Okay, what is recursion function? Recursion function is the function which uh, is calling itself uh, so that uh, uh, it's a function calling itself again and again. And we can use, we can use the recursion function when uh, Number like complex uh, complex iterations yes, yes. by using recursion function you can uh, reduce the complexity and uh, make it easy in Python. Okay, so have you created object in Python? Uh, 
Okay, so insert in the inside that uh, object creation, you are I think you are listening some one you were like construct. Yes. Okay, so can you give the uh, definition of construct? And if it possible, give the name types also. Constructor, uh, constructor is uh, is we, is called when we create an object for a function. Uh, there are uh, two types of constructors: parameterized constructor and uh, default constructor. Okay. Uh, default constructor is also called as zero constructor because uh, there is no parameters or like uh, arguments passed when uh, okay. the constructor. Okay. And <coughs> parameterized constructor is uh, having uh, uh, like having parameters in a constructor. In, uh, okay, okay, fine. If you are not uh, created constructor in a existing class, what it will happen? Sir. If you are not created constructor, what it will happen? In existing class, yeah. I will show another concept. Uh, is concept mandatory we need to create? Uh, no, sir. But uh, while well, uh, because it is used as a default, a function before. can create a concept. Concept. If you if you require any concept, you can create a concept. Okay, so that's why you can give that. Yeah. Ah, uh, fine. So, what are the access modifiers involved in Python? Access modifiers are three types: public, private, and protected. Okay, what is the access level of private? Private is uh, used in only within the class. We cannot call it outside the class. Public access? Public, we can call it any within the class or without the class. By default, uh, function is uh, or constructor is a uh, public method. It is in public method. Yeah. Okay. So inside the oops, we have a four concepts. Uh, can you name them? Uh, in oops, there are by headers, polymorphism, abstraction. Okay. So, but uh, now, can you explain the inheritance? Uh, inheritance thing is uh, uh, inheriting the properties of a parent class or a superclass. <coughs> okay. Uh, to uh, subclass or child class. Okay. So, is there any types in inheritance? There are four types. Like first one is uh, single single level inheritance, multi multiple inheritance, multi level inheritance, and hierarchical inheritance. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So. Can you give the difference between delete and clear? Uh, delete is used to get, uh, remove a single element from a list or dictionary, uh, uh, and when coming to clear, it will uh, remove all the elements, but uh, it uh, maintains the structure of the uh, data. Yeah. Okay. So finally, I am going to ask one uh, programming question. So have you prepared any like have you prepared any programming questions like? Uh, Numbering programs. I can do palindrome. Yeah. Okay. So palindrome. Okay. What is palindrome number? Palindrome number is uh, if we check the uh, order of the, uh, I mean order of the elements, it will look symmetrical. Okay. Any example one number you can give? Triple three, three three three. Okay. So one to one is palindrome or no? Yes. Sir. Why it is a palindrome? If we check it uh, from Reverse. order wise or reverse, it will uh, look same. Okay, when a number is reversed, then only it equals to the original number. Okay, so can you write the program? Okay, just give the logic. Uh, not write the program. Just give a logic. First, uh, okay, we have to take the input of a number. Okay. Then uh, we have to take uh, reverse as a variable, a temporary variable, okay. and uh, assign a value zero okay. for uh, loop. Okay. And then. Uh, for i in range uh, zero to n, <coughs> okay. uh, we have to take uh, length of that uh, number by okay. using length and string uh, data. Uh, Why we are using string here? Because uh, we, when we give uh, input, it will take as an uh, integer. Yeah, okay. But uh, for length, we have to there is no integer length. We can uh, use string okay. function. Okay. And for i n i in range uh, zero to n. Uh, so I will iterate to zero to n values, and next uh, number is equal to. That means if we have what we have input that the uh, number is equal to num into num by uh, num percent of n, so that we can get the last value of that number, and uh, reverse is equal to as we have put zero as it's less than zero. Actually, we are getting the remainder. Yeah, not the, last uh, remainder. And we have given the reverse as a initial value as zero, and uh, reverse into ten, 
plus the, that uh, bridge of meter. Yeah, okay, that's a good approach only. Okay, so next time we are going to make it as a like uh, coding test as well. Okay, so that's enough. Okay, I think Srikanth, I done with my side. You have any queries to ask? Yeah, okay. you can.